Hey guys, this is Matt, and I'm back with another tower defense tutorial where we are going to be talking about all of the little things that we've done to our game since uh, the last couple of videos, and then we're going to go into a uh, in-game options, like a, an in-game options screen. So the first uh, big difference is that we're using a terrain instead of a plane, and we wanted to do that because you can actually you can texture the ground and it uh, it looks a lot better. And we were also able to, uh, we wanted to have a background image for whenever the game started. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and take a look. So this, the plane is a lot different. You also see that we have this ridge here and, uh, and a background image. We're also using uh, in GUI buttons, which uh, I wouldn't actually recommend using in GUI with uh, what Unity is, is coming out with, but uh, it, it, it works for now. We also have a nice flashing button over here and uh, can uh, send enemies and one of the really cool things uh, so we have these uh, upgrades working so you can do some see poison upgrades so whenever an enemy is poisoned uh, they'll go ahead and blink and it, as long as they're having uh, damage over time done you also have what is this mind control no that was hex mind control number level two makes them go backwards go back towards the uh, the, uh, the the start and we also have our basic slow, uh, slow down, uh, burn, things like that. We have an area of effect attack and upgrade path. Uh, let's see an example. That's burn. And then you can also mix and match, which is great. So Armageddon, and so you're doing AOE stuff and uh, and burn, and maybe, maybe this one was actually the, yeah. So now you're doing AOE and. Uh, and uh, the burn at the same time. So it's a, it's a lot of cool upgrades done. We also have this wave wheel which shows you which waves are coming up. And uh, you know just did a little bit of prettying up on 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 our UI system. And let's take a look at the scene again and, and show how uh, exactly we did that. In order to do the background, it's a little bit hacky, but you know it uh, it works and it looks a lot better than what we had. So we just have the terrain. We raised up the playing field of the terrain, and then stuck an image uh, halfway in there, and uh, that ended up looking really good, kind of like a uh, a drop off in game is what it kind of looks like. Uh, we also have the wave wheel over there. Our in GUI, our, our user UI stuff that they click is uh, above all of our colliders that are on the playing field, so that uh, the the user clicks don't interfere with our colliders and get caught. Uh, and then over here we have our menus. So we have that turret upgrade menu that you saw whenever we were upgrading turrets, and we also have the uh, options which uh, I'll be going into next. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at the options. So whenever uh, you can press this button and then you can also click out of it anywhere, so that's uh, a nice feature. So you can press it, you can uh, you only have a few options right now, but you can turn off this grid here. You can also mute the sounds, but I can't really show you that because I don't have the sound enabled on this. But you can see uh, that's working, and you'll just have to trust me that the mute sound works. Also, the, the quick game. So let's take a look at uh, what that main menu, or what that options menu uh, does. It's actually very a very simple design. So this is the options button. The options button that was uh, in-game that had the, the gears on it. So whenever the options button is pressed on click, it is going to toggle the options on. So if it was off, if the options were on, it's going to be off. If they were off, it's going to be on, obviously. And uh, if the options are on, so if the options got turned to on, then we're going to move the uh, the cam move the options menu this transform here that we just made a public variable and put our game object into at least the transform and we're going to move that transform over to the center of the screen and we're calculating that using the uh, screen to world point and we're taking half of the screen width half of half of the screen height so very simple math there 
and uh, just make sure so that's the center and then we're going to uh, make we're going to preserve the original y value of our options menu and then just set the position here and if it was not pressed if it was toggled off then we're just going to move it off off screen and again preserve the y value of our menu now the buttons in the menu have uh, so we have the quick game the mute sound and display grid so mute sound and display grid are very uh, similar all they do is toggle toggle an option inside of our game state and then based off of that logic we're either going to display the grid or we're not going to display the grid and for here uh, muted I actually had to I had to manipulate some of the in GUI classes so uh, I didn't have to do much but uh, so that worked uh, another a thing on in GUI it's very buggy at least the free version is I, I wouldn't really recommend it if you can avoid it with the new Unity uh, 4.6 4 coming out with their canvassing system and all those nice UI elements uh, I really think it's going to be a lot better than uh, what NGUI has and uh, we're going to upgrade on our next project and uh, and start using that but all of these all of these warnings aren't aren't from us they're from NGUI and they even had uh, they even had a few errors that we had to fix in the in the source code whenever we downloaded it so uh, but we did that. The good thing is, though, it's it's uh, open source, so you know I was able to just go in there, change the script, and now it mutes whenever is muted is is true. So that is one of the good things. And on uh, quit, I'll only do application dot quit. Done. Probably need to do a few more things, some uh, house cleaning, but pretty good. We have uh, a lot of those other. Uh, UI elements you saw were in here. We have our wave wheel, which does the uh, wave prediction, or not the prediction, but it displays what uh, what wave is coming up next. And this is a this is a huge class. Uh, I'll try to do some sort of tutorial on it, but uh, I think the tutorial would be way too long to for anybody to to be interested in. Uh, but let me know what you think. Uh, that is that's the game as it stands. As soon as I get a tutorial on how we did the turret upgrades, that should be in the works. So as soon as I have that, I'm going to post it on this video somewhere. Uh, post a link to it, it'll probably be a text tutorial. But until next time, thanks for watching guys.